Picking a WordPress theme is difficult. There's thousands of themes to choose from, and a lot of them absolutely suck. From terrible backends to glitchy pages, picking the wrong WordPress theme can lead to a lot of headache. So how do you know which theme to pick? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid picking the wrong WordPress theme, and I'll also be sharing some of my favorite WordPress themes. This video is sponsored by WP Engine. More on that later. So here's the problem with WordPress themes. Too many times, people treat them as 100% visual. They say, do I like the page demos? Do I like the aesthetic? Do I like the buttons? Oh, I want a lawn care site, so I just look up lawn care theme, and that's a good one, right? I like the way it looks. And to that, I say, wrong. Then, after you purchase the theme and import the page demo, you're left scratching your head wondering why you can't get the page to look the way you want. But Christian, the demo pages look so pretty. Why am I so restricted with what I can do? I made this mistake many times early on in my WordPress development days because I thought WordPress themes were just a collection of page demos, colors, fonts, and buttons. I would always tell my clients to just go to ThemeForest and pick a theme that they thought looked good and then I would have a terrible time trying to build the website and get it to actually look good. That's because themes aren't just colors of paint to choose from. They're the entire wall. That is, a theme is designed around an entire backend editor with a page builder plugin, a theme setting panel, and other sets of plugins to make the theme function. At its core, WordPress is a very simple platform. It's basically just a post section and a pages section with very basic editors. So if you want to build a WordPress site like these examples, you need a high quality WordPress theme to get the job done. The theme you pick will dictate your entire WordPress experience, so it needs to be a good one. If you pick a poor WordPress theme, the page demos often just fall apart when you start modifying them or building new pages and you end up getting a subpar look. Okay, but suppose all you want to do is use the page demos exactly. Can't you just edit the text and images on the page and not modify anything else? And won't this work with just about any theme you pick? Well, it's still possible to get burned by picking a bad WordPress theme. I've seen themes where they bury basic options such as the logo and the header in some weird place where you would never expect. Sometimes I've spent 20 minutes looking for how to change a basic color or font, and that's because WordPress has no universal page editor. Every theme has a different backend with a different page builder, a different settings panel, and all of this is going to influence what your editing experience is for your entire website. And even if you can get past all that, Poor themes often have bad optimization, making your site slow, and giving you poor SEO. Google even looks at your page speed score to determine where to rank your site on Google, and you definitely don't want to have bad SEO just from picking the wrong theme. So, how do you pick a good WordPress theme? My advice would be to focus on the back-end editor functionality first, then focus on the front-end visual aspects second. For the back-end editor, every theme is going to support a different page builder. Elementor and WP Bakery are the common ones, but some themes have proprietary page builders like Divi, Avada, and B-Theme. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but it just means it may be less supported by plugins and have less help documentation available. A lot of this selection process is going to come down to personal preference. I personally like WP Bakery because I prefer a back-end or wireframe editor. But if you like a front-end editor or a drag-and-drop, what you see is what you get editor, Elementor is going to be a great choice for that. Once you've identified your preferred page builder, you'll want to pick the right marketplace for purchasing WordPress themes. ThemeForest is the main marketplace I use, and you'll find lots of reputable themes from vetted developers that are going to be a great choice. One exception to this rule would be the Divi theme. This is sold by a company called Elegant Themes, and you can only purchase it directly from the Elegant Themes website. But it's a high quality theme, I'll talk more about Divi later. So how do you screen themes on a marketplace? Start by making sure it uses your preferred page builder. After you've sorted that out, you can start to look at things such as sales and reviews. 
How many sales does the theme have? Is it 500 sales? Does it have 50,000 sales? The more people who buy it, you can get a better idea of the reviews. Does it have a five-star review average? Is it close to five stars? And what sort of documentation and support is available from the developer? These are all questions that you should be asking when looking at a themes page to see if it's a good fit. And if you're wondering, Christian, why don't themes just have a free trial function or some way to preview the back end? Unfortunately, this is just not a standard practice in the industry. And the reason it's so important to screen themes as best as you can before buying them is because themes on ThemeForest and many other marketplaces do not officially offer refunds. I have gotten refunds before from developers by just messaging them directly and explaining that I was really unhappy with the theme and asking if it was possible to get a refund, but officially with the policy of a lot of these marketplaces, they don't offer refunds and there's no way to trial the back end either, which is why you need to be really careful with the themes you select before buying them. Now, I want to take a minute to talk about e-commerce. Running an online store on WordPress is a great idea. You can use WooCommerce, it's a free plugin that will let you do everything you need to do to sell things online. But you can still have a bad e-commerce site experience if you don't pick the right WordPress theme. Many themes don't support WooCommerce officially, or they're not committed to updating the theme when changes to WooCommerce are made. So this is another important thing to look for if you're going to be running an e-commerce site with the theme you pick. Another thing that could hinder your online store's performance is bad web hosting, but that won't be a problem thanks to today's sponsor, WP Engine. WooCommerce runs better on WP Engine. Their e-commerce hosting includes tools that make your site more performant, like Evercache for WooCommerce. Evercache is WP Engine's smart caching solution designed to speed up your WooCommerce site. With conventional caching, it can be difficult to optimize e-commerce sites, but with Evercache, you get all the benefits of cache without breaking store functionality. Another thing critical to store functionality is search. WP Engine e-commerce has instant store search. It delivers results 10 times faster than the WordPress default search and includes things like autocomplete and AI-powered content suggestions. Finally, all plans include Genesis Pro. This is WP Engine's library of templates and layouts with blocks that you can integrate with any theme. Power up your e-commerce site today with WP Engine. Go to the link below to get started. Thanks to WP Engine for sponsoring today's video, and now let's take a look at some of my favorite WordPress themes. After years of weeding through crappy WordPress themes, I've finally settled on a few themes that I just can't get away from. By far, my favorite WordPress theme is Salient. It uses WP Bakery, and it has a great set of page demos that you can import, and the layout just makes sense. You're not scratching your head for 20 minutes just trying to figure out how to change the logo and the header. Salient is fast, it supports WooCommerce, and it's pretty customizable. If you want to know how to build a WordPress website using Salient, the 2.0 version of Krayler Academy, my step-by-step -step guide on building a WordPress site from start to finish, is coming out soon, and I'm excited to announce that it's now free. Just go to the link below and sign up to receive updates so you don't miss out. Another favorite theme I've settled on is Divi. While I don't personally use Divi for a lot of my websites, I really respect it for the value it provides. Divi has a proprietary page builder, and they have a back-end wireframe editor, as well as a front-end what-you-see-is-what-you-get editor. I find that the front-end drag-and-drop editor is the superior way to edit pages in the theme. Divi has a lot of demo pages that you can import, and it's one of few themes that's big enough and popular enough that they have their own marketplace for Divi extensions. That's sort of mind-blowing. It's like plugins for a theme or extensions for a theme. That's not normally a thing with a lot of themes. I also like how Divi licenses allow unlimited installs, including client websites. Typically with themes like Salient or any theme that you'd find on ThemeForest, you have to purchase a license for every website you use the theme on. But with Divi, one license lets you install it on as many sites as you'd like. There are some downsides to Divi. I really dislike how menu styling works. If you want to know my full thoughts on Divi, I have a dedicated review video that you can check out right here. And finally, I don't think you can go wrong with free stock WordPress themes. 
These are themes like 2022 and 2019, which are actually included with every WordPress install. These themes are made by WordPress officially, and while they are very basic, I think they make a good option for blogs or websites where you don't need to go too crazy with sliders or big hero sections or anything like that. You could also check out Neve or Astra for freemium themes. These are themes that have a free version and allow you to upgrade to the paid version later on. The free versions of these themes allow you to use page builders like Elementor, which I'm a big fan of, but the word of caution I'll give you is that the premium versions of these themes are very expensive. I have no problem supporting a theme developer and paying to upgrade the theme, but they charge between two and $250 for a lifetime license, and when you can get similar or even better functionality in a theme like Salient for $60, it might just make sense to buy a WordPress theme from the beginning. So this is why it's critical to research your WordPress theme before choosing it. Once you start building your website with a WordPress theme, you can't just switch themes later and have everything migrate over. You basically have to rebuild your website from scratch, and that's why you need to be careful to not pick the wrong WordPress theme. Regardless of where you are in your WordPress journey, there's always room to grow your knowledge. That's why I've teamed up with WP Engine to give away a ticket to WordCamp US. What is WordCamp, you ask? It's a fun event hosted in San Diego on September 9th through 11th, where you'll get to hear from some amazing speakers, including Matt Mullenweg, the founder of WordPress. I'm gonna be there and it's gonna be a great time. Tickets to WordCamp are actually sold out, so this is an exclusive opportunity to participate in the event. Along with the free ticket, WP Engine is also giving away a free hosting package, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Go to the link in the description to enter the giveaway, and thanks again to WP Engine for sponsoring this video.